All right, guys. So, <clears throat> we're back. Um, I'm doing this straight from scratch. My hair is still braided, so I'm going to take that down. And um, yeah, you guys are going to see me go from this to that. Okay, so the first is the first braid is out. Um, okay, I'm sorry that I'm at this angle, but I lost my piece that goes to my light that holds my phone. So it is what it is. Anyway, shout out to Ivy. Ivy Lee's really braided the crap out of my hair. She really braided my hair, but as you can see, guys, my hair is growing. It's dope. It's dope, it's dope, it's dope. But I'm gonna come back once I have everything taken down and then we can get to work. Okay, so I'm back. Damn, that breakfast was good. Anyway, this is my hair. This is all my hair and it's really growing. Uh, sometimes I feel like it's not, but this is my hair. I wanna say it's about three or four inches. And I don't know if you can see on my hands, but it's very, moisturized because I've been using the uh, Camille Rose uh, hair growth serum on my hair daily but um, it makes my hair feel good when it itches and it's, it's amazing but this is my hair you guys you do not want to scratch or irritate the scalp so I did take my braids out very softly I um, took them out very gently so that I could go ahead and color it you know you see the black but it was bothering me because the blonde stretched out so much that it looked like it was fake. And I was like, no, my hair is blonde. So I'm just gonna update that color into a platinum all around and watch in like a month or two, it'll grow right back to this. So um, I definitely wanna see if this look is going to be my reunion look for the TV show, American Beauty Stars in March unless I find something to do by then, but I, I don't know. I'm just thinking ahead of time. But my hair is so pretty. Look at that. If only it would stay like this, but it won't. So, um, let's get started coloring. So, for this process, you will need um, hair bleach. You will need developer. I always use 40 because my hair is like jet black. And um, you will need toner. Paul Mitchell, um, just to strip the extra yellow brassiness color out. But the main ingredients, the main ingredient that you need is Olaplex. If your hair is already blonde, this is your lifesaver. This is how you keep your hair without it breaking. Okay? Olaplex, but only licensed cosmetologists can get it. So if you go to a salon but that's professional, they may already have it. Anyway, this is my go-to. Um, the toner, it's the um, Ultra Toner Platinum Blonde. And this is just the color steel. This is a steel color, like a gray. Just to, just in case the blonde doesn't come out like how I want it, then I'll put that on there and then you know I'll just be gray. So um, that will get me to my platinum level that I want to, but yeah, this is all that I'm going to use. So I've already uh, based my head, so I'm gonna get started. When it comes to bleaching my hair, y'all, I don't measure nothing. I just know what consistency I want and how I want it. So I know that this is what I have left out of a bag and I'm using the Clairol Professional Basic White Bleach. Now. Bleach. I'm just gonna pour all of this in there. And be careful, cause it is strong. All right, this may be enough, but I feel like it's not. And I forgot my gloves. Um, this is it. 
So I'm using the 40 developer because my hair is jet black and I like a speedy process. Um, I feel like I'm a pro at this because I've done it a couple of times now. Hence that my hair is not broken off. But I'm not gonna pour a lot. Of, I'm not pouring a lot of you know developer in there because I want a, a thick cons consistency. I want a thick consistency. Now, this is a lot of powder. You know, if it's runny, yeah, it's not gonna go. But if it's um, thick, it's gonna take better. So I'm just massaging that in. <laughs> So just keep mixing your developer in until you get that thick consistency where it's not powdery but it's not soupy. If that makes sense. Okay. This is where Olaplex comes in. I don't know the right amount, but I squeeze enough. Um, I did 3.75. I do enough and I pour it right in. This is gonna protect your hair from breaking. I'm gonna try my best not to touch my scalp. That is the goal. Don't worry about um, putting it on the blonde hair. Don't worry about getting it on the blonde either. Because you do have a toner for that, so it's gonna go flat. So guys, I bleached my whole head. Um, I only did the roots and the outside of my head, the sides of my head. Um, So now I'm just waiting until it bakes while it's cooking. And then I'm gonna wash it out and see if I need to reapply a second coat. Hopefully not though. Okay, so process is done. We covered. We got a little, a little movement, a little shakage, which I'm excited about. It lets me know my hair is really growing. But um, the color took very well, as you can see. I don't think I'm going to color it twice. I don't think I'm gonna bleach it twice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the toner because I didn't shampoo my hair, I just rinsed it out. But I think I'm gonna go in with the toner and see what it does and just be satisfied with that because I'm not trying to have a sore head and I'm not trying to have damaged hair. So I think I'm gonna just go in with the toner and see what happens because that's gonna lift it anyway. And it's gonna strip that yellow. So let's just hope this goes right, but I'm very excited. This is dope. I'm back. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so I've mixed the um this is the toner. This is the UTP toner from Paul Mitchell. And I mixed some more developer in it. And I also put a little bit more um I put a little bit more of the uh Olaplex in it just to make sure that it strengthens my hair and it doesn't break it because it still is a uh, form of bleaching. So this is going to tone the yellow. Let's hope it tones all the yellow out just how I want it. But if not, you know, I'll settle with it. But yeah. I got the toner on. So far it's doing its job. As you can see, it's, just, it's turning purple, which is uh, the color that neutralizes yellow. But baby, I'm trying to keep this in for at least uh, 10 minutes. So I finished putting it in like at 12, 13. So I'll take it out probably like 12, 23. Um, we'll just have to see, but guys, uh, I really want the back to neutralize. The front is neutralizing. And if it's still not what I want it to be, I will um, put the color uh, on top of it just so it can neutralize some more. I have the Shimmer Light shampoo that I'm also gonna use on there to help it. But as you guys can see, we are processing. 
I'm praying this comes out right. Yo, my hat came out. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look. There's still some discoloration in like towards the back. But it'll do. It's fine. But I got a platinum. I got a gray. Oh, I love it. None of my hair came out. Bam. That's how you do hair. Hey, 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 I'm excited. This video was not brought to you by Paul Mitchell, but if they want to sponsor, why not? Because I did that shit. <sighs> so excited that the growth of it is really growing. The curls, my natural hair is dope. Like, I never would have thought about this, but I hope you guys like this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck, but I'm just excited. Uh, subscribe, tell me what you guys want me to do, and I'll do it. So, hope you guys love it. Hey, platinum. All right, y'all, my girl Nicole. What's up? She decided to give me a treatment while we're here on a photo shoot set. She is the natural hair queen in Montgomery, Alabama. I do what I can do. Okay. Pro <laughs> whisperer. Okay. So, like, can y'all see the difference from what I did earlier to what she's doing now? This is why you have to let somebody treat your hair. You can't do everything by yourself. Please stop. Like, say it one more time. Please stop. Please stop. Don't follow the blogs. Because. When you said wash your hair. Wash your damn hair. <laughs> Please. But it honestly feels better. You know, she's defying these curls. Put your head back and shake it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Y'all ain't see that hang time. She told me to do that. <laughs> I make my clients do that because sometimes our curls uh, like to kiss each other. Yeah. And so I make them shake their hair so that the curls can kind of like break. You want them to break kiss a little me? Bit. There you go. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Ooh, I'm 28 inches. Y'all are mad. Y'all are mad. Just... Come on, fool. Put your hands on. Come on, that's 28 inches. They be like, hoo, hoo. You got to. Hey. <laughs> Move. Move, girl. Yo, if y'all see her in the streets, come get her. <laughs>